Hello. And of course, an ad plays. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds ish. And we're going to make the fat greyhound chase the donut and lose some weight. Hey, Emperor. Hey, TK, do you have your water? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do have my water. <laughs> oh no, Emperor, they're they're coming after you. They're going to boop you. Icy Ash has two greyhounds. I have one greyhound at my parents' house, but she's not a full-grown greyhound. She's like an Italian greyhound, so she's smaller. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, um, before we get started, uh, I want to give a very quick shout out to all of my full pack members. You guys are fantastic and you help me fund these types of videos. So thank you so much for being a member. Um, I definitely appreciate you so much. So thank you. Um, so for today's stream, we are going to talk about what would happen if a greyhound was actually fat. Um, as most of you have probably seen and and uh, it's very uncommon to see a fat greyhound. A lot of them are super skinny and lean and fast and all of that fun stuff. So what would happen if they were fat? It, to be honest with you, it wouldn't be all that great for their body, but this will be a ton, ton, ton of fun to make the fat jiggle around when they were cartoons. So it's not actually hurting this dog since he's not real. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, this stream might be a little bit longer than normal just because I want to make sure that uh, I, I completely animate this Greyhound in the full likeness of the fat and the jiggles and all of that fun stuff. Hey, Fire! Fire just donated. I had tons of fun on the other live stream last time. Thanks for including me. I love supporting you. Thank you so much, Fire. I totally appreciate the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see here. How would we animate this exactly? Let me see. Hmm. So this isn't much of a tutorial. Um, this is literally just me goofing around and animating a fat greyhound. <laughs> so let me try and figure this out. Um, I have my ref down here, just so you guys can see. There's a lot of different um, poses and things like that that the Greyhound goes into whenever they're running. This is obviously gonna be a little bit different whenever they are fatter. So let's see how easy this could be. I kinda wanna start, let's start with the stretch. Greyhounds have like this really long, really long snout, even if they're fat. They are not as fluffy as the wolf, <laughs> but we are. There we go. They've got like these downward drooping ears. We are. There. Just a basic outline of the face. You've got the nose. The end here. <laughs> Just like to hate, like to love. No slaps, no boops. Um, so here's the thing. If you push the like button, you're booping me. If you push the dislike button, you are slapping me. And that that is what we're doing with the like and the dislike buttons today. So here we are, getting in that face. We're not really getting into the fat yet just because we're in the face. Hmm. Hang on, I think, I think my screen might not be working. One second, guys. Hmm. Word. Give me one second. Let me try and figure out why it's not showing you on my screen. It was a second ago. 
Aw, oh, thank you, Shiloh. Don't boot me, Shiloh. Unbelievable. I think you know a guy. Let's see if this will work. Check one thing. You guys can't see what I'm drawing. I don't know why it's stuck. Yay! It looks like it is working now. So I will go ahead and keep going. Okay. I don't know why it did that. That was so weird. But now we're back on. Um, so like I was saying, the, the snout is really, really thin, and it kind of slopes up and into the forehead. And the ears are different than a wolf, obviously, just because it's they're perked up just a little bit. But it's not like a straight, like, wolf ear. <laughs> Who's spamming the like button? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Austin booped. Austin, why? Why must you boop? Thank you, Susan. Okay, so let me put in the eye. Let me put the eye in right here. He's real focused. I kind of wanted this to be more silly because he's gonna be chasing a. He's gonna be chasing a donut. So let me actually get in a little bit closer and fix the eye. Yar. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we've got the eye. And now I'm gonna move into the neck area. And I have my, oops, let me see. I've got my reference. Actually, let me scroll back out. Okay, so we've got my reference down here at the bottom and I'm doing this one. Of course, it doesn't want me to circle that. There we go, I'm doing that one, the one I just circled in black. So we've got this head going down and you've got the neck actually coming out back here. Shoulders are about right there. And then you've got, it's a greyhound. It's got a really, really flexible spine. And that's one thing that makes them so fast. So you've got that there. Let me put the shoulder in here. We are and very skinny skinny legs now of course we're doing a fat greyhound so this is where it gets a little bit more interesting let's put in some fat obviously you know greyhounds don't have this much fat but this is just in the scenario that they are a fat sack with little toothpick legs coming out of their fat sack. Yes, very thick. So his other leg is actually up to about right here. And then you've got this giant chest, which would typically go into a stomach that looks like that. But since we're doing something fat, it's actually gonna be about down to here. And then it bleeds into the legs that are pushing straight back. <laughs> so fat. <laughs> Why? Why are you so fat? Okay, let's do this. I don't have enough room on this artboard. So let me move her down here. And the legs are coming out this way. Here we go. And then the other leg is actually peeking out in our reference down there, and it's about right there. So it's going straight out. This is a massive, um, you've got the, the stretch and the compression. This is a massive stretch, um, but you've also got the giant stomach. You can't see this dog's ribs anymore because she soups fat. 
But I'm also having the stomach kind of lean a little bit more to the back too because you have all of that weight um, and air pressure pushing it back. And then the tail would look like this, roughly. There we are. There we go. <laughs> Who bonked me? Shiloh. Did you bonk? No, missed, bonked, and then Shiloh reiterated the bonk. Unbelievable. Bonkers. There we go. So the fat would actually bunch up right there because she's so fat. You've got like all the fat rolls. There we go. So these dogs are not meant to be fat at all. Um, of course, they're known for racing and things like that. And all of the, the old timey media, as in cave paintings and things of that nature, showed these dogs as being super skinny from the beginning of time. So it almost, to me, feels like were they really bred for racing or is this just a super pure bred dog? And this is kind of what they look like for the most part before you have all these other breeds. I don't know. Wait a minute. Fire just said cheetahs are the fastest. Yeah, cheetahs are faster than greyhounds. I'll give you that. They're faster. They run faster. Greyhounds tap out at about 40, 45 miles per hour. Roughly. Okay. So she's real fat. I want her to be really excited about this donut. That's too excited. Get that really big greyhound grin. There we go. Yeah, cheetahs cannot run as long as wolves, that is true. But I don't think greyhounds can run that long either. I don't think they have as much endurance as like a wolf does. Because they were, you know, they're built for quick bursts of speed. Here we are. And that's our girl. She needs a diet. Actually, they've got longer tongues than that. Let's do this. Here we are. When did wolves fall in the, into the topic? I don't know. I don't know, Fire. It was a comment. No. All right. And now she's a fat greyhound. She's not gonna run on her own. So we need to trick her into running. And that's where this handy dandy device comes in that I invented. I'm sure someone else has probably used this before me, but this is a device that I invented while drawing this character. And it's basically going to be a pulley type system that dangles the treat, the donut in this case, in front of our little greyhound. And there's a lot of wind pushing on this thing, so I think it's going to tip a little bit back. Let me push this back just a little bit so I have a little bit more space. Gosh, they're super long when they're stretched out. <laughs> they're the long boys and girls. Ew, what, what kind of dog or any animal do you picture yourself as? Will you draw it on stream? Hmm, that's a good question. What animal do you picture yourself as? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Something lazy for me personally that just lays around and doesn't really do anything. That would probably be me. Yeah, that's right. I am a human at calf. I'm, I'm definitely a human. 
Hi, spirit. <laughs> Hello. Koala. That's a good one. Koalas are cute. Okay, so I'm actually going to do something different. I want this dog to be almost biting it. So that mouth is going to come way open. Here we are. You'll even see the top teeth just a little bit. Here we go. Antelope. <laughs> Cheeto, I joined YouTube when you were born. Well, that doesn't that make me feel young? That makes me feel real young. <laughs> You antelope. Fat girl. Okay, and this donut is gonna be about right here. Very, like, she's so close. She's so close to getting this donut. And I want her eyes to be, like, wild. There we are. That's better. <laughs> okay, and let's have this string similar to our thumbnail. Come through the hoops here and then tie off on this donut. This is tied here and this is tied around her waist. Okay. So there we are. That's our first frame. <laughs> what a dorky dog. Okay, let's see. We need more frames. So let me pull this out. She's gonna roll bork here. Yeah. And let's do a compression. Oops. Yes, please give us donuts. More donuts. Okay, so let's look at the compression frame. That one is gonna be, let me get rid of this. Oof, okay. So the compression is gonna be right about here. Also, if you guys are looking for references or anything like that, there are tons, just if you Google search them. So please look them up. They're super helpful. Okay. So now we've got the body coming in this way. And the, the back leg looks a lot like a Z. Very close in there. This is, of course, what a skinny greyhound's leg would look like. But since she's fat, we need to make this. Like, she's like really fat, guys. Here we go. We need to make that skin pull in. Here we go. And the butt is a bit more thick since there's a lot more fat content, or more body fat on this dog. So we need to add a little bit more thickness here. That tail is kind of like, at least in the ref, it's kind of like curling. Yeah. There we go. And then, the legs are actually real compressed here. That chest would have come back over here. The stomach would be actually down here. <laughs> Who booped me? Cut that out. I'm trying to draw a fat greyhound here. 
Okay. There we go. So we have the stretch, and now we're doing the compression. And while we're doing the compression, we're also keeping in mind this is a fat girl. So her stomach is kind of coming down here. But if you look at this reference, the neck and the back also are kind of angled up this way. So it makes sense why that stomach would be a lot lower. Aw, oh, thank you, Fire. Never boop TK when she's in editing mode. Thank you for sticking up for me. I appreciate it. Okay, so I don't think the head, the head doesn't move much whenever the dog moves. So we've actually got something more like, more like this. So that head's actually gonna come up. It's a little bit higher up there. So let me actually draw this head. I would say in this frame, the donut's going further away from her. So she's probably, her mouth is probably a little bit more closed. Her smile's gonna go away just a little bit. She's got the fat, like this is what you would call a double chin, but like on a dog. So that's what those lines are for. She's upset all of a sudden. The donut's further away. There's not as much air pushing on her tongue, so it's a little bit more normal. And then her head is gonna be like up here. There we go. And then the neck. There's a little squoosh. If you guys are drawing along and doing this with me, I'd love to see your, your pictures. All you have to do is join Discord and then um, if they're really cool, like if they came out really, really neat, I'll share them on my community tab so that everyone can see them. If it's something you're comfortable with, of course. Oh, fat girl. Okay, I think her tummy, it's not gonna be proportionally accurate, but I think it'd be funnier if her tummy was like a little bit more just to show that she's super fat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now let's make sure all the other pieces make sense still because she had a lot of loose skin. Oops. She had like a lot of loose skin on her arm. Hey, Arctic, are we drawing wolves or dogs in this scene? We are drawing a fat greyhound. So this is a dog, a dog stream. This is what it would be like to animate literally a chunky greyhound. There you go. Too many wrinkles. I think it'd be more like this. There we go. Now that other leg, let's see, that other leg looks like it's more back here because you're compressed very very compressed and then same with this leg over here there we go okay so now for our contraption <laughs> um, it's not gonna move much it'll just move along with her body so I'm gonna move that to about right here I want her contraption, it's going to be a little bit lower set than her, than the other picture of the contraption. And then this is still tied. No. But now, her donut's moving further away from her face. And there's less air pressure on this rod, so it's actually going to be about out here. More like this. Aw, thank you, Fire. Xavier and the Death Alpha will get you if you boop the Queen, Thunder Catherine. I rest my case. I see. That's scary. Real scary. One, two. There were one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
We don't want little these little things to disappear. So I'd say the donut would be about right here. Because it's getting ripped back from that fishing rod device thing that's torturing this greyhound. It's tied here. And then the string is coming out this way, like this. And we want her, um, her people to like follow it. So since it's a little bit down there, it's gonna be like this. It got ripped away from her. Okay, <laughs> that's the main, um, that's the main situation. It's literally going to be these two frames and a bunch of in-betweens. <laughs> um, so I'll go ahead and make it a little bit more smooth because that's where it gets fun, but basically that is, in a nutshell, what it would look like if a fat greyhound was running. Um, the only way they would run is if they had food in front of their face too. So if you've seen my other live stream where I show how, how to do a run cycle with a wolf, it's kind of similar to that, but um, greyhounds are a lot faster and they run in short bursts. So their movement is a little bit different, even if it is, um, it's not completely the same. Um, it's similar, but it's still different. Okay, so I'm just gonna do quick in between here. Oops, see that was not very in betweeny of me. Usually when you get that stretch and that compression in there, the rest is a lot easier. Because you just do the in-betweens at that point. Okay. So let me draw her ear. Again, a greyhound's ear is a lot different than a wolf's ear. Just because it, uh, it is not pointy, obviously. And then I will draw her pupil, which I will probably redraw later. Because I want it to follow that donut. Okay. So let's take a look at our ref and see where we're at. We drew, um, we drew this one, and then we drew this one. So let's do this one or that one. And I'm feeling, uh, feeling this one. Let's do this one next. Let me get rid of these circles so we know what we're doing here. Okay. So the one that circled is the one I'm doing next. Um, it's literally just in between these two. So I'm gonna give her her fat folds here. Because that leg is actually on the ground. It's actually, man, greyhounds are fast. It's like already down here in this frame. So let's put it right here. Here we are. Big girl. Oof, do not overfeed your pets. <laughs> greyhounds are not supposed to look like Labradors. They're supposed to look like greyhounds. And if a gray, if you're seeing, if you're looking at a greyhound, I can't speak. If you're looking at a greyhound and you see their ribs, that's okay. They're supposed to look like that. If you see a greyhound and you can't see their ribs, that is not okay. They're, they have serious medical condition. They're overfed. And it's really not good for them. So. Oof. What kind of pets do you guys have? I, I picked this because I have a little greyhound at my parents' house. And she's actually the little greyhound in the bottom right hand corner of like all my videos. Her name is Bella. She's not like a big greyhound like this. She's just an Italian greyhound. <laughs> oh, two labs. One is chubby and one is chunky. <laughs> Fire. Autumn B is my BFF. Ha ha ha. Love to her. Oh, you had a greyhound. She passed. I'm so sorry. Geckos are cool. Oh, you have a whippet? Whippets are beautiful. Whippets are like...
And some might say those those can be um, not good for the animal too, depending on the situation. But sometimes it's just the owners are bad and they shouldn't have dogs. <laughs> Your greyhound was a skinny legend. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to redraw this donut a few times just because I want this string to be like majestic. So at this point, it's gonna be real tight because it's like pulling the donut away from her mouth. So I'm actually gonna make it even more tight like this real tight string. It's like pulling it away from her. You know, and I don't like her back leg here. Let me look at my reference. Oh, I mean, it was back there. Maybe it needs to be more like, it needs to be more like that. There. Are. Okay, let's take a look at this. So now we have an extra frame in there. Uh-oh. And this is what happens when you draw on the wrong layer. Let's see. Edit, cut. Then edit. Paste in place. Now let's try it. That's better. <laughs> oh, the little jumpsters. <laughs> the donut gets so close to her and then it's like, nope. You thought. <laughs> Okay, I wanna fix this donut a little bit. I'm not like a huge fan of the string. So I think this should actually be the tight one because it's about to get pulled away from her. Here we are. And then this one should be, I think a little bit more loose. And then I'm not totally sure about this one yet, but I think it should be more like, like I think the donut should be more like over here. Oh, nope, don't do that. Skewing it. Should be even like more like over here. And maybe it has a little squiggle. Yeah, something like that. That's a little bit better. Man, you ran out of chips. Melanie, no. <laughs> Oop, wait. It is the wait. Oh, she's so chubby. She's so chubby. Okay, let's do another frame right here. Let me copy you. Because I like to put, um, I'm gonna paste in place. I like to put the frames on either side so I can see with my little onion skin. Okay, now it's time to do something between these two. So that would actually be um, more like, let's see. <laughs> so let's see, she's going from the stretch to the compression. So now there needs to be a landing and a kickoff is what I'm seeing here. So let's land right here. Let's do this one. That's actually more of the kickoff, but we'll do the kickoff first just because I like the kickoff. <laughs> okay, so that back leg is gonna be right. It's kind of interesting how much of a Z shape it turns into here. You've got this coming all the way down and then you've got this part with the paw on the ground. Coming up. Here we are. So it kind of looks like that with the kickoff, but this is way too big. So let me actually move this. There we go. Needs to look a little bit more like that. And then this is actually, it's like in this picture, this reference that I'm using, it's actually more like up here. Oh, references are great. You don't trace or anything, but you kind of figure out where these, the, uh, the body is supposed to, to go, like the different parts. There we are. So 
looks a little bit more like that. We've got this shape. Yeah, when I'm looking at it, you want it to be similar. You want it to be like this. Like that. There we go. You can't draw unless you use paper. Oof. I can't draw if I use paper. Paper's hard. I can't draw on paper. It's real hard. Okay, now I want her tummy to be like way back here. Because we're we're going against the wind again. Just a little bit, and then you got the flip, the flippity flaps here. We've got her arms coming up this way. Don't need a ton of detail yet. Um, looking at the ref, it this one is actually tucked, not quite going forward yet. Kind of like this, nice and tucked, but a little bit closer to the body too. There. Because you've got the chest, like if this was a skinny greyhound, the chest would be here and the waist would be like this, but we're drawing her fat, so we need to have all of her fat. Yeah. Oh, chubs. And then this one, this leg is actually off the ground. And the tail is about like this. It's just so cute. Yeah. If you guys have questions, please throw them at me. I don't know if you're actually doing this along with me or not. <laughs> Let's see. I want the back to go this way. Ooh, that big belly. You want to boop ash and cookie? Oof. Poor Ash and Cookie. Okay, now we want it kind of more like over here. She's lifting off. There you go. Get that device in there. What software do you use to animate? What's one that you'd recommend others to use? Hmm, I personally use Adobe Animate. That's what I'm using right now. But it's it's not free and it's frustrating to use sometimes. Um, if you're looking for like a free program just to see if you like it, to see if you want to get into it, I recommend uh, trying out Flip a Clip. So I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's not something I've personally used. But I've heard tons of good things about it. The only bad thing is the watermark, but if you take that away, if that doesn't like bother you that much, try flip a clip. Okay, let's do an in-between for the face. You got a real slopey face and again a really long muzzle. And then he's kinda or she's kinda pushing off. I think that mouth would come a little bit closer together. Yeah. There we are. Got to keep the the chubbiness. Oh girl, you're gonna get that donut. I can feel it in my bones. Someone needs to invent this device for my dog, please. Oops. And we're just doing in-betweens at this point. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.
She gonna get that donut. I don't even know if greyhounds like donuts. I mean, they probably do. Mine would eat anything I would eat. There we go. Okay, so let's try that. Let's see if that looks good. Oh yeah, she's getting there. <laughs> she's feeling the donut love. <laughs> oh no. What kind of dog do you have? I have a Belgian Malinois. What kind of dog do you have? TK, do you play Roblox? Um, I played Roblox once. <laughs> Just once, though. Yeah, I watch my pride. What pronouns? You can just call me a she. That's fine. Cookie eats cookies. Greyhound eats donuts. <laughs> Basically. What? Yeah, I was wondering about this pupper's name. Gory the Tenth? I don't know about that for her name. I was thinking Chubbs, but I feel like that's mean. I don't think she should be called Chubbs. <laughs> Wait, which my pride? Is it the lion one or something else? I'm talking about the lion one by Triple of Doom. She can't have the donut, no. She eats donuts on a daily. She needs a break from the donuts. <laughs> so, hang on. I'm gonna fix this donut because it's driving me absolutely crazy. Here we go. Let's see, I need to move my frames. All right, let me move you over here. That's better, she's gonna kind of come, well, no, I'll make her not come off the screen. There we go. That's done. And then let me move this down. That's kind of in the way. Okay. What? So I think... I think this one should be somewhere else. So we want it to kind of be pulling it back. So maybe the donut made it to like here. And now the fishing rod or the, the line is like pulling it back. So then you've got something like this. But that's kind of like intense. Like it's an intense um, change. So we'll want to do another frame between these two. Let me move these over and I'll do another frame. They don't really need that many frames because greyhounds are so fast, even the fat ones, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, glazer hyper. I like hyper. Sprinkles. Oh, sprinkles because of the donuts. Yes. I love that. My dog is knocked, lol, she is asleep. <laughs> yeah, mine too. She's passed out. Do I use Flip a Clip? No, I don't. I use Adobe Animate. I've just heard good things about Flip a Clip. Like if you're a beginner, it's like a good program. I'm gonna name the dog you're drawing, Mr. Chuddy. I was thinking like ch Chubbs or something, even though that's so mean, I feel bad for her. Let's do that. Actually, I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit more. There we go. And then she's trying to extend here. Yeah. And then her belly looks a bit like this with the chub. Oh gosh, I just made a bunch of weird lines. <laughs> Sprinkles must win. 
Give Sprinkles donuts. Poor Sprinkles. She just wanted a donut, man. Oof. So if you guys are wondering, I'm putting the flaps of skin really close to like the parts of her body that come together. Um, so basically like the creases and things like that between the stomach and the leg, for example. You know. And the reason is because that's where the skin bunches. Gosh, it's like, it's like drawing a, a wolf run cycle, but, um, more like if they were a deer or an antelope, even though they've got kind of different movements since their, their legs are so skinny. Doe. You guys like doe? You want to name her Doe? Did I draw the characters in Wolf Song? Yes, I did. They were my characters. That's why they have, like, stupid colors and stuff. Drew Dim when I was young, when I was a little cat, when I was a littler cat. Oofs. Fat girl wants to donut. Give her the donut. Actually, I think she's upset because the donut's going away from her, so I feel like her mouth would be more like... Like this. There we go. She's kind of upset. Like in this one, I think she should be more upset too. Like really upset about this. Oops, I think I might have made an oopsie. Copy. Mm. And it cut. Okay. See, I didn't grab all my frames. And now I did a weird in between of this hot dog. Hot dog, uh. Greyhound. That's okay though. I'm gonna push her back like this. She needs to be more upset, anyways. Get her head in between. And then I'm just gonna change this a little bit. Made an oopsie daisy. Oh, thank you, fire. I'm gonna donut. Get it? Don donate. Don yeah, I get it. <laughs> very, very, very creative. Alright. The girl needs a donut. I mean, it's kind of funny, isn't it, that you're feeding a different dog entirely in front of this dog by donating? Because you're giving Stu popcorn. If you think about it, it's kind of crazy. This dog's probably like, what the H? Where's my popcorn? she needs to be looking more at the donut because it's getting pulled away from her there we go fishing rod is getting pulled out just a tad and the donut is getting pulled this way something like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we are. And see, for this one, I feel like. Oh, see? I think I did that weird. But this actually needs to be more like this. This donut might take me a second. There we are. Like, it's swinging back. 
There we go. Like she's excited when the donut gets closer to her mouth. And then when it gets further away, she gets like really upset. <laughs> Not the sprinkles. Oof. YouTube loves you? What's going on? Does the YouTube love? Her name is Doe. Okay. Got it. Alright, Doe. I'm gonna make you a little bit smoother. So let's put all your frames together. There we are. That's the same frame. There we go. So here she is. Miss Doe. So I might, I'm, I'm liking the front legs. I can't say I'm super duper duper in love with the back legs. So I'm gonna troubleshoot this just for a second because I want it to look a little bit different. So this is fine. I feel like this is the trouble child frame. Oh gosh, I hate it when it does this. Okay, let me change it to the lasso tool. I'm actually gonna pull these legs up just a bit because I think they need to be like more up here. There we go. Because what I'm not seeing that I really wanted to see is that flow in the spine. And I'm also not seeing a lot of movement with the fat like I wanted to see. So we're going to do this. And actually, I think we might need another frame. I think we need a frame between these two. Yeah, I think that's the issue because we can pull the butt up a little bit more like this. It needs to be kind of between, but it'll be like up. There we go. And the fat can be like starting to scrunch. And then I'll do all the in-betweens here. Gosh, in-betweens are a pain. But this is a fun break from wolves. Drawing greyhounds is, is interesting. This is one of my favorite breeds. So it was definitely fun animating her chasing a donut. Especially since, you know, they're not really known for being fat, mostly because if they are this fat, if they ever were this fat, it would do major damage to their body. So don't ever feed, don't overfeed your greyhound. <laughs> you have a greyhound. Okay, so her arm would actually be further back now. It's just leaving the ground. Just leaving the ground. Go. And then this one is actually kind of replacing that other frame. Just putting all the weight on that leg. Okay, before I do all the details, I want to make sure that looks okay. It's kind of giving me what I want. Definitely looks a lot better. I feel like her legs are kind of, like her back legs are kind of hanging a little bit. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. They hang about right here. So what I would prefer instead is in this frame, I'm actually gonna kick these legs back so they're more in the middle of these two frames. So they don't hang as much. Just to smooth it out. That's one way you can smooth out your animations too. You can kind of see 
Like maybe it's not quite in the middle and that's the problem. That's a little better. It's not, it doesn't really have that hanging problem anymore. But we do have a blink right here that I want to get rid of because we didn't finish, we didn't finish her features. Yeah. So I'd say the donut would be right around here. And the fishing hook would be right here, or the fishing pole. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I could teach you anything today, it'd be how to count to ten and eleven. I've done that quite a lot. Okay. Get it, girl. Get that donut. Oops. So now we can kind of break this apart even a little bit more. And I think the wind would have lifted her tongue a little bit. And in this one, I think her tongue would actually be more like this. This might be weird. <laughs> we'll see. More like this, it looks like a snake. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so weird. Experiment, y'all. So, I think this is the problem. Let's do... Let's do this. And then we want to bring it back down to here. And then this one will actually be, it's not like fully pushing it yet. So it'd actually be like this. And then this one would be back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You look ridiculous, Doe. Doe looks ridiculous. <laughs> She's like really trying to get that donut. But there was one other thing I wanted to do because I wanted her expression to be really excited when the donut gets closer to her face and really bummed out when it gets further away. So I'm gonna make her expression even more happy in this frame. Like she is so happy to get this donut. Like, this donut is life. And then she's slowly losing that spark. And then I want her to be really sad in this one. Like, her tongue even looks like she's reaching for it. She's like, no, come back. See, that has a weird jump too. So there would almost need to be another frame between these two. I feel like she might be getting a little bit more happy here, like she knows it's about to come back. And let's actually do another frame. Oh wait, there was another frame, I'm stupid. Okay, so in this frame, she's gonna be a lot happier. But not like super happy like that other frame. So now we're gonna have like this, this lull of, uh, <laughs> of happiness and unhappiness. Even though it's pausing on the screen just a little too long. Oh, she's trying. <laughs> hey, Lawanda. No regrets. <laughs> the struggle is real. Oh, she needs to lose some weight. Hopefully this contraption will help her. Um, I will keep you guys updated on how much weight she loses as she chases this donut. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining the stream. Um, this dog is, her name is Doe. Um, that's the name that everybody gave her while we were on live chat. And this is what a 
fat greyhound would look like if they were running. So this has been my process of animating a fat greyhound chasing a donut. I would like to preface that I, I've never animated this character before <laughs> and animating a fat greyhound is fantastic. But uh, can't stress it enough, if you do have a greyhound, don't overfeed them and make them fat. It will destroy their bodies, so please don't do that. Um, before I end the stream, just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who donated while I was live. We've got Fire Cheetah Girl, Shiloh the Wolf, and Druid of the Wolf. Thank you guys so much for donating, and thank you so much for watching um, this stream where I, I animated this, uh, this fat girl named O. Um, I'll just, I'll stick around for a few more minutes if you guys have questions, and then I'll go ahead and end that stream. How many characters do I have? I've got a ton of characters. Put her on a treadmill. Yeah. Put that girl on a treadmill. Won't she run into a wall or something? No, she's, she's on a, she's on a racetrack, I think. <laughs> she's going in a circle. <laughs> oh, bye fire. All the wolves donated. No. We got two wolves that donated and then a cheetah that donated. <laughs> yes, if you would like to boot me, then slap a like on this video. That is equivalent to booping me. If you want to slap me and you can't stand my guts, please slap a dislike on this video because that's the same as slapping me in the face. So please either boop or slap um, like or dislike. It's up to you. That's how you boop though. Oh, bye Barami. You have 45 characters, I see. That's a lot of characters. It's a glass treadmill, right? <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, you've got a question. What's up? It's okay that you're late, Lawanda. It's all good. This will be available for everyone after it is done. You're an extra mile person. Okay. Boops and slaps. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Husky. Um, do you, uh, Melanie asks, do you show your face in a vid or are you going to show it on a live one day. Maybe I'll show it one day. I think in a in a past video I showed my face, but I don't think that video's up anymore. Oh man, you have 203 characters, Arctic? That's crazy. Who's my favorite character from Wolf Song? Cobalt all the way. <laughs> Amelia, what's your question? Does my nose hurt after all the boobs? Yes it does, Ron. Yes it does. One of them's gonna have seven pups, probably. <laughs> you wanna walk that doggo? No, you don't. I mean, it's still a greyhound. She's still fast. Am I gonna make this a gift? Sure. I'll make it a gift. I'll put it on uh, Discord. They call me the Grim Reaper for a reason. Yeah, that's Cobalt, all right. <laughs> Bye, Barami. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining the live stream. I totally appreciate it. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.